Hey, it's Joel, and uh, this is a quick little video, no title, no nothing. I was playing with my Pulse 3D printer. This is the Pulse XE from Matter Hackers, and it had a problem. The BL Touch wire had a, a problem. It, the wire broke inside one of the tiny little wires. So they had sent me a new wire bundle. That's why it looks like butt right now, because wiring and me just don't make pretty things. I got it all back together. I got it working. Everything was awesome. I started to print, and... Oh, it didn't complete. The Bowden tube had come out of the Bontech in the back. I thought, no problem. I will put it back in. It probably just wasn't seated right from when I had fixed everything. And I put it back in, went to print, and then my family and I, we went and did stuff. And I came back and it looked like this, just a pile of filament that the Bontech had extruded. The Bowden tube had popped out of the PTFE fitting and it, it, was no good. It was no, no good. And I thought, well, shoot, what the heck is going on here? And I talked to Taylor at Matter Hackers thinking, man, is pressure building up in the nozzle? Is the, are the steps not right? Is something going on? But nothing had changed. And then, and then I figured it out. And what's great about figuring it out is it's apparently, uh, it could be an issue for others. So I'm really, really excited to tell you about it. Here's the problem. You can see right now, I've got the little clip in right here and the PTFE tube is pushed all the way down. And if let, let's say the Bontech is pushing the, the filament through and it's going through a bunch of retractions and it's going and it's just kind of go, oh, look at that. It pops right out. It pops out. It pops right out. What the heck? So I thought, okay, let's put it back in and I can just pull it. I can just pull it right out of the bond tech. And originally I thought, well, you know, maybe, maybe it just, there was problems with this end of it. So I used a PTFE tube cutter that I got from Capricorn tubing. And then I put it back in and that's when it was doing the same thing. Here's the problem. And I, and I hope this camera right here can see it. So if I take out this clip, well here, actually, let's put the clip back in. I just want you to see, look how much that little connector wiggles around. The plastic piece, the piece that actually grabs onto the PTFE tube. Look how much that wiggles around. And, and, then, and then it just pops out. So if I take out the clip and I push down here and then I use my fingernail, actually my thumbnail to hold up on it, it stays in, it doesn't wiggle around and it doesn't pop out. That's great. That's great. We have ourselves a nice connection there. The problem is the clip doesn't cause the plastic insert to pull up enough to grab onto the PTFE tube. So here's my solution, at least until I can print a taller one because the clip has a little end right there. If you turn it upside down and you shove it in there, it causes that metal, that plastic insert to be up a little bit more. So the wiggle doesn't work and I can pick up the printer using the PTFE tube. I know it's kind of a lowbrow solution for something like this, but that's an issue, right? That doesn't happen with all bond techs, does it? I don't, uh, I don't have any other bond tech. Uh, I do have one more bond tech on the rail core, but I haven't tested with that. But I, I would imagine this is a, this is a type of bond tech. I hope it doesn't happen with all bond techs. Oh, and before, before you start saying, well, Joel, you have Capricorn tubing. Why don't you go with the Capricorn tubing? Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. Let's, let's think about this for just a second. So I've got my handy dandy calipers here. Let's see if we can't do some measuring. The PTFE tube right here has an outer diameter of four, 4.01 millimeters. I hope the camera can see that 4.01. And also, uh, it's going to have a different reading here because the PTFE tube is squished inside of the fitting. That's what it does because it squishes it from around the sides and it's a little squished. So if we read that end, we get 3.58, 3.58. Three point five eight, so it squishes down to three point five eight. Let me get the Capricorn tubing. Here we go. 
Here is a length of Capricorn tubing for 1.75 millimeter filament. And if I measure the outer diameter right here, it is 3.77. While Capricorn tubing is going to be a better tubing for this, it's also much smaller on the outer diameter, which is going to leave less to squish in this case, which means there's going to be a greater chance of the Capricorn tubing popping out of the little connector here on the bond tack. And so while Capricorn tubing is a wonderful solution for PTFE tubing for, for 3D printers and, and um, they have a really cool little, little logo, that guy right there. While this is cool, it's not the solution for this. I think the solution for this is to print a thicker clip that, uh, that will hold it in place. So, because see, normal clip, too much wiggle, turn the clip upside down to give it more height, and, and, there we go. That's it. Well, that's the quick video. I hope that this helps you, and I hope it gives you another idea of things to check on your 3D printer when there might be issues. Bontech is known for having crazy geared abilities that push filament and can make printers climb. And that is probably part of the case in, in this, is it has a lot of torque to push the filament. And because the pressure can only get so great before this little piece gives way. I mean, you saw how easy it was for me to kind of wiggle it out. So a bunch of retractions, maybe the filament bouncing up and down, the tube kind of bounces, bounces, and then it's free, and there's your problem. Hey, thanks for watching. Quick little video, but I had enough requests on Twitter to say, hey, Joel, could you do a video on this? So I did. I hope this helps. Leave a comment below if it did. If, I have a, if there's a better solution for this problem, leave a comment down below and let me know about that. I appreciate you making it this far. Go off and be awesome. As always, high five.